Well hello Riverside Church family. Um, I'm continuing to pray for you all and it's been really really encouraging um, as I've spoken to many of you over the last um, week or so just to hear how you're all praying for the Riverside Church family as well. And thank you for phoning people so much, phoning one another. Um, and thank you um, too for meeting many needs um, that have arisen as a result of those phone calls. And I pray that we'll continue to do that um, as the days and weeks and possibly even months um, roll in. I want to thank you as well because I know that many people in the Riverside Church family have already been engaging with the sermons and the services on a Sunday. Um, with the central meeting, with the um, kids stuff that's been made available um, by Kay, Heather and Sam as well. And also even many of us have bravely ventured onto Zoom to try and do our home groups there um, with varying degrees of success. But um, we've started um, and we will improve as we go on. Thank you um, for doing that. It's so important um, that we continue to learn together and continue to encourage one another at the minute. And so um, every Monday um, I plan to post a short video on this channel just reflecting on the sermon that we heard on Sunday morning. And yesterday um, Scott was preaching on Luke chapter 8, 1 to 15, the, the sower sowing the seed um, to the different types of soil. And Scott finished with a great illustration of a stormy sea in which people were drowning um, and, uh, and screaming and struggling. But in the middle of that sea there was a rock and um, with a platform surrounding it and, and people were safe. People on that platform were safe. They were saved from the storm. And actually there were some people on that platform reaching out to bring more people onto that platform. Some were even diving in and trying to grab a few others and, and bring them up as well. And there's a lovely picture um, of Christians who have been saved by the gospel of Jesus Christ wanting to proclaim that gospel to others, wanting to see other people saved um, at the moment. And as I listened to that sermon, my one of my greatest desires was that Riverside Church um, would be turned into a crack team of gospel rescuers. Now, how could that happen? Well, as we started to go through the sermon, uh, the first big challenge to us were to be good sowers of God's word, good sowers of the gospel. Now, Scott immediately acknowledged that the ground is hard, and it is hard. Um, it is a hard society to speak the gospel in, but then I don't think there's ever probably been an easy society to speak the gospel in. And at the moment, with what this virus is doing to people, well surely the ground is softer than it normally is. People are thinking, people are seeking, people are even praying at present. And so the ground is hard, but maybe just at the moment it's just a little bit softer than usual. And so... The exhortation from the sermon was to sow, 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 was to sow liberally, was to speak the gospel to whoever will listen. And that is a great challenge and that is a great encouragement um, for us to do. Scott said this, he said, a Christian must be a sower. Now, I agree and I would like to add to that. We've just been doing our, our series on the church. And so we want to say Christians must be sowers, but we want to say Riverside Church, it must be a sowing church. We want to sow together. And so one of the applications I'd like to ask you to pray. I'd like to ask you to pray for a minute. We've pushed the pause button on lots of our events and lots of our structures. Could you pray at the minute about our guest services and our family services? Could you pray about our door-to-door -door work? Could you pray about the evangelistic events that we run? Could you pray about our mini music, our ABC and our partnership with the school, the clubs and so on that we run? Um, could you pray about the seniors' work? Could you pray at the minute um, that we would have great discernment to know how to make all of those things more fruitful, more productive at sowing the gospel into people's lives so that when we press the on pause button, um, we are in better shape to be these type of sowers. Could you pray about that? And as you have good ideas, share them and we will get sharper and we'll be a better church at sowing the gospel, better sowers together. But also personally, we want to be people who speak the gospel to those around us. Whether that's on social media or with our neighbours um, that we just can chat across the road to. Um, or especially in Riverside, your family members who aren't Christians, many wives whose husbands or, or partners aren't Christians. We want to be people who keep going. And the encouragement from the sermon was that God's word will bear fruit. So we must keep sowing, sowing, sowing. 
So on a very practical note, how do we do that? How could we get the gospel to our neighbours in those just casual conversations that we have? Well, what I think we should be doing is just trying to testify to the, the peace and the assurance that we have in Jesus Christ in a time of great anxiety. I think if we manage to say that to our neighbours, if we manage to post those things on social media, if we manage to say those things to our family, um, then that will be a great foundation that may well lead to much deeper gospel conversations. So can I pray that you, can I ask you to pray that we will do that together, that we will testify to the peace that we have in Christ, even in the most difficult and trying of circumstances. So there's two applications from, for, from how to be a good sower that I'd love you to partner in at the moment. But the second bit was about being good soil. And to be good soil, we need to receive God's word immediately, gladly, deeply, and then fruitfully. So if you're not a Christian, if you're just like a friend of Riverside, you come along, but you're not a Christian yet. Look, you know enough. Jesus Christ died for you. He rose again and he's coming back. You know enough. This should humble you. It has humbled all of us. We are not as advanced as we thought we were. We can't control many things in life. Let this period of life humble you so that you come to Christ and accept him. Bring your sins to him and admit you need his forgiveness. Um, allow this period of time to humble you enough so that you come and accept Christ and become part of the family. And if you are a Christian, well then let us press on in listening to the sermons, in reading God's word and then doing what it says. We want to be devoted to God's word. We want to be devoted to one another because of our devotion to God's word. So Sunday, it was an old sermon. But one of the things that listening to an old sermon does, it takes the focus off the pastor and the minister, okay, as the action man, as the man that's going to help us in our need, and it puts the focus right back on God's word. It is God's word that we want to be nourished by at the minute, we want to be fed by. And so Riverside Church, um, can I encourage you to be good soil? Listen to the word and do what it says by God's help with the Holy Spirit um, living in you. Thank you for listening. Please pray about these things. Please ring others and talk about these things and God will continue to mould us, continue to shape us for his glory, for our good, in the days, weeks, months to come. Thank you.